Hi, my name is Carl Berntheim. I am uh, going to introduce you to mothing or moth watching this evening. Uh, I'm standing in my backyard up on the deck by one of my porch lights. And what I've done is I've uh, taken the incandescent bulb that was in here, right here, and I've replaced it with a compact, compact fluorescent bulb, which emits a little bit of ultraviolet radiation. Up here, the larger, brighter bulb is a mercury vapor lamp, 160 watt lamp. It also emits a little bit of ultraviolet radiation. Ultraviolet radiation um, seems to lure moths, particularly some species of nocturnal moths. There are diurnal and nocturnal moths. The nocturnal moths are the ones that fly at night. Diurnal are the ones that fly during the day. So there are moths just like butterflies that fly during the day. But what I'm doing is I'm looking at the nocturnal moths, the moths that only fly at night. Now these moths, many of them are lured by ultraviolet radiation, and that's why I have these bulbs going here this evening. It's spring, it's still early in the season for catching moths, but maybe we'll get something tonight. What I have hanging from this porch light is a laundry hamper from Walmart, which I purchased for just two or three dollars, and it provides a lot of surface area for moths to land on. It'll glow a little bit too as it's illuminated by the black light here, or the ultraviolet light. Um, moths will come from all over here, the area, the backyard, and land on the walls of the house, the external walls of the house, or on this laundry hamper. Some of them will stay here overnight, and in the morning, or when I get up, I'll come out and I'll see if we've got anything, and if I do have some moths, what I'll do is I'll bring them to the house and I'll photograph the moths using my cell phone. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do that. This is part of a big citizen science project that I'm involved with. And by that I mean there are people all over the world that are doing this sort of thing. I happen to be working with moths and about 15,000 other people around the world are doing the same thing. What we're doing is we're catching these moths at different times of the year and then we're taking high resolution digital images or photographs of these moths and we're archiving these images along with the relevant data where they were found, okay, at what time of the year, what species they are, in databases like iNaturalist or Bug Guide. And, uh, and so I'm part of that big effort because many of these moths may not be here 50 years from now and it would be nice to have some records of what's here and what's not here, okay? And so that's how I'm spending my retirement years. An old university professor who taught biology for many, many years. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this away now, we'll stop the film, and we'll come back tomorrow and see if we've got some moths, okay? Okay, we're looking at the trap. There's a moth coming up right now. Uh, Pleuromelodia. This is an Aegira. That's another Aegira at the bottom. This is the situation now in the morning. Uh, in the morning light, about seven o'clock, I've turned off the lights. I'm walking up to the um, the old laundry hamper here, and I see some moths. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the laundry hamper off the light, and I'm going to put my cell phone inside the hamper here. And I'm getting kind of close, and I'm looking at some of the moths. That's in the genus Aegira. 
that's the genus Lithophany. Another specimen in the genus Lithophany. Another specimen in the genus Agira. Specimen over here in the genus Pleuromelia melida. Got a lot of focus. And over here, another moth in the genus Hypena. And way over here, we have to turn the photo around. Right over here, I've got a moth, a geometric moth in the genus Fidelia. And that little one that's just going by, I can't get him, uh, is, uh, is a little Aganopteryx. I can't see him in here. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a picture of this Hypena here. So what I want to do now is uh, show you how I go about uh, photographing moths. Uh, and I'll use my cell phone to record this, and I'll use my little um, point-and-shoot uh, uh, macro camera. Uh, Pentax WG3 is something I've been using for the last seven or eight years to photograph a moth here. Uh, I've got the camera, I've got a little reflector that I use to direct the light. I've got the moth on a, a board. The board is something I can turn. And uh, I can use the reflector like this to aim the light. I can flip on the camera, get it adjusted. I've got natural light coming in through the window here. I can uh, get low, really close to the object, specimen. Get a good photograph, and then I can release the moth in a few minutes, and I've got the picture.